Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story here is dealing with the media pushing fake news about Ron DeSantis, saying that he was disinvited from an event as the keynote speaker for his anti-immigration views. Now, when I say fake news, folks, I really do mean fake news here. The stuff that the Herald fabricated and came up with literally didn't even happen. There's, there's like no evidence of it other than like an email. And that was it. This one's really going to blow your mind. It comes from our friends over at the Daily Wire. If you're not already a member, hey, go over and become a subscriber today. And also, folks, show us some love here at the Bald Brad Show by hitting that like and subscribe button, sharing this with your friends and family all over social media. And with that being said, Tim Pierce starts off this article saying the Miami Herald is under fire after publishing a report stating that Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was disinvited from an event over his anti-immigrant views, despite statements from DeSantis's office and event organizers saying there was no plans for the governor to attend. Meaning they literally just came up with this out of nowhere, other than an email, which we'll get to in a second, but that's the extent to, it go, to which it goes. I mean, he wasn't invited. He wasn't ever supposed to be there. He never confirmed. Ron himself was like, I don't even know who the heck or what this event is. So this whole thing that the Herald is pushing is literally fake news. And what ends up happening, you'll see in a moment, media outlets started running with it as if it was just trustworthy, as if we're good to go. They didn't even decide to corroborate it themselves. It says the Herald published a report on Thursday titled Investment and Immigration Conference Cancels DeSantis' Speech After Objections were raised, the article stated that EB-5 Investors Magazine disinvited DeSantis for giving the event's keynote address and speaking on a panel after some participants and sponsors objected his immigration policies. The basis for the article came from an email sent by this person, a prominent Miami immigration lawyer and invited speaker to the conference. Well, this lawyer told organizers that he would be rescinding his acceptance to attend the conference in protest of governor's attendance. Quote, I seriously considered your kind invitation until I was informed that you have decided to accept Ron DeSantis to be the keynote speaker at the conference. This person told EB5 in an email he shared with the Herald. Mr. DeSantis, also known as Mini-Me for his Trump-like tactics, has engaged in the most virulent anti-immigrant conduct we have ever seen by a public official. I mean, DeSantis is a mini me of Trump. Actually, I think he's more of a, a bigger version of Trump. I call him Trump 2.0. Excuse me. You're all vile. Okay. You're all disgusting. Look at you in the back. The lights are turned off because I'm talking. The media will push fake news. It's China. Okay. No, it's not racist. It's China. Okay. I miss Trump. I miss doing his impersonations. But look. DeSantis is a, a version of Trump. He doesn't put up with the crap from the media, just like they're pushing here. Why? Because the media cannot be trusted. The media is consistently, folks, pushing fake news, which I know all of us on the right and conservatives are very aware of that. But we have to continue to remind ourselves and show stories like this because the media can't be trusted because they're not willing to do their job correctly. And we'll see why in a moment. It says here, neither DeSantis's office nor EB-5 corroborated this person's claim. DeSantis's press secretary, Christina Pusha, later flatly denied the article's claim and tweeted a statement from the magazine, also denying that DeSantis has ever been scheduled to speak at the event. The magazine blamed a staff error, though it was not specific as to how much an error contributed to the Herald story. They're, they're just, <laughs> oh, well, it was a staff member. Uh, let's go with that. Whatever happened to like the old school journalism where you need like more than one source? You need multiple sources. Your editors and, and everybody else can corroborate those sources as, as being trustworthy. Now it's like, hey, I saw an email, so I'm going to fabricate an entire story behind it, not confirm with the Santa's team, not give them a phone call or anything of that nature. And even when they do tell you it's not true, you don't remove the story or redact it or anything of that nature. And then other people sit there and publish it. This is <laughs> this is our media nowadays. Bunch of lazy people. It says eb5investors.com is excited to host a conference in the great state of Florida. The governor was never confirmed to participate, nor was he uninvited. We made a staff error and are regretful. It's unfortunate that our event was used by, by the media for political gain, EB5 said in an email posted to Twitter by Pusha. 
Stop spreading disinformation. Have you received any official confirmation, evidence, or even a comment on record from EB5 organizers that Governor DeSantis was ever scheduled to speak at the conference? No, you have not. Delete and retract, Pusha said in a tweet responding to the Herald journalist who wrote the story. Well, according to the Herald, again, this, this is according to the Herald, why DeSantis' team and EB5 have both denied the story. Okay. So, again, both the people holding the damn event and the dude that was supposedly invited and then disinvited, both of them say, look, this isn't legit. <laughs> this isn't real. So you need to retract it, delete it. Get this. <laughs> Even though it both denied the story, a Wednesday email to the conference attendees says the event organizers disinvited DeSantis after pushback. So again, even though you have the actual people themselves, everybody's going, look, yeah, no, it's not real. The whole story's fake. You need to retract and delete it. They're going, but, but there was an email, so we're going to keep it. There's an email, so we're good. It's like, just because there was an email doesn't mean, Jack, you know what? So you need to get rid you need to get rid of your story because it's fake. It's fake news. It's wrong. You got to get rid of it. I'm going to sue you. I'll nuke you. I'll do whatever it takes. This Russia collusion stuff is sick. It's a witch hunt. <laughs> you know, they need, they need to retract it, but let's see if they do. As a bipartisan organization, the keynote was simply chosen as the highest figure in the state of our event. And we have historically had keynotes from both sides of the aisle, the email says, according to the Herald. With that, a decision has been made to reconsider DeSantis. He will not be joining our event in Miami. The Herald has yet to update or retract its story, and the article has been spread by other outlets and shared by other reporters. After a reporter for Politico tweeted out the story, Pusha slammed the outlet for sharing debunked news. Politico now spreading the debunked falsehood. Incredible how journalists in the Florida Capitol press court trip over themselves to defend shoddy journalism. The Herald's reporter never verified her story. It's an inaccurate. Governor DeSantis was never scheduled to speak. So how could he be canceled? And absolutely right. Look, even though you have both parties, the event people and the dude that the story's about going, live, no, this never happened. This isn't legit. He was never invited. He was never disinvited. The dude has no idea even what we're talking about. You know, it was a staff error. You need to retract and delete it. It's a fabricated story. The person still saying that it's true. And not only that, you have the media pushing it out there. You have other outlets pushing it. And the problem with that is people are going to believe it. People aren't always going to take the time to go back to the original story that they read, whether it's from the Herald or political and see like the updated version of it and go, oh, you know what? This was wrong. Uh, you know, this was actually rescinded because of body, you know, blah, blah, blah. The, the, the reporter was misguided or whatever it may be. They're not always going to go back to that. And majority of the time they're not. So they're just going to get stuck with that story, that article and treat it as a truth when in fact it's a lie. It's a fake. It's a falsehood. And that's not that's not a good thing for our society and our social fabric. Now, even for myself, I'm not even a journalist. I just do this for fun because I like it. But even myself, I try to read multiple stories on a subject to see and verify if it's true as much as possible as I can from my end. And again, this isn't my career. It's not my job. It's just something I do as a hobby for fun. So when I see people like this being lazy, it's it's honestly sad because you're ruining somebody's political PR, their image. And I think that's the goal. And I think all of you agree with this. I think that's the goal of the media to go against the conservatives and Republicans and create an image and a persona about them so that people don't go out and vote for them. Well, folks, with that being said, Make sure you leave me a comment down below on what you thought of this falsehood being pushed by the media, as well as make sure you like and subscribe to this video, share it with your friends and family all over social media, and I will see you tomorrow here on The Bald Brad Show.